Hello and welcome to LifeReformYou.com. In the previous tutorial, I told you how we can configure LifeReform Sketch, how we can configure a server, and when we can start it, we can connect to database, and how we are going to uh, uh, land onto onto the front page of the LifeReform, which is the default page. So this is my account which has been created, and then uh, this is the default account which is tested uh, tested the date of .com and the password is test. So well, basically, we just need to type test and then so uh, this will be the default page that will be I will be landed on, and this will be the control that I have already told you. So uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can configure plugin SDK to start our development. So for that, uh, we need to download the plugin SDK file from uh, lifefree.com and then uh, we need to extract that particular file into a particular folder. And I have, uh, for example, I have done it over here. This is Lifefree plugin SDK contains multiple folders over here. So uh, we just need to go to Windows, Preferences and then Lifefree and then install plugin SDK. And then just we need to say add and then we need to browse and we need to go to that particular location where we have installed our extracted our SDK and then we just need to say OK and then it will be converted into like this. So if you want to get uh, <coughs> so if you want to open this particular plugin, uh, this particular SDK into uh, your Eclipse uh, package explorer as a as a project, then you just need to say open an Eclipse, and it will be opened it over here, so that you can uh, better view your folders in this particular plugin SDK so these are some of the folders that uh, that are being into the plugin SDK uh, there is ext there is hooks uh, there are layouts uh, there are misc and then portraits shared and themes and webs so well basically lib contains uh, the library file as all of us know uh, these are the library file that those are required to uh, run ant command and all those uh, ext contains the ext plugins hook contains the hooks uh, and uh, portlets uh, all of the portlets those are being uh, generated custom portlets will be landed over in this uh, portlet folder themes will be landed in the theme folder and then web projects will be landed over here so to create a, a portlet or what we need to do is we need to click right click and then we just need to say life rep plugin project and then we need to type a project name over here and then it will use the default location which will be the plugin SDK file uh, folders and all those so you can change it if you want but it is recommended that uh, it should be the same only uh, uh, build type we will be using ant uh, there are multiple build types available which is maven also uh, maven or ant you can choose uh, one of them so we will be using ant by default a plugin SDK is the SDK that uh, that is being used as a environment to start our development uh, this will be the life runtime is basically the server uh, which we have configured over here now this will be the plugin type uh, whether this is a portlet uh, whether this is a portlet which will contain a service builder whether this is a hook it's a layout theme ext or webs so you can select out one of those so uh, then uh, we just need to say uh, next and then we just need to say finish so uh, an end command will be run in the back end and then uh, it will create a sample uh, sample project over here so what I need to do is we just need to go say new and then life rep portlet so uh, it will ask for a, a for a plugin project which is sample portlet which I have created and then uh, we need to give the uh, give out the class that uh, uh, that will be the class of a custom portlet so uh, let me put it down com dot life for you and then which will be extending this uh, lifefree.util.pitch.com uh, and this portlet uh, this hierarchy I'll, I'm gonna explain you afterwards uh, this complete hierarchy I'm gonna explain you so I will say next and then here uh, these will be the portlet modes uh, which particular modes you want to extend over here uh, this will be uh, uh, these uh, these three modes are uh, GSR286 standard and rest of the portlet modes are uh, life free implemented uh, modes so uh, this will be the folder where your GSP will be generated and then you just need to say next uh, this will be the path of the uh, CSS file that you are going to uh, you are going to give this will be the main.js file and this will be the wrapper of the uh, wrapper of the portlet uh, which we are going to generate over there 
so this will be the uh, display category actually so this category will be uh, the category which is present over here so if you are selecting sample over here you are writing a sample over here then uh, this portrait will be landed over here in this uh, in this uh, sample category so uh, if you are giving something uh, let's say abc or lafre for you then uh, a new category will be generated over here and that particular portrait is going to land in that particular category so uh, this is add to by add to control panel which i'm going to tell you afterwards so next and then say just say finish so it is gonna add uh, a portrait in this so this will be the class uh, which will be extending life frame mvc portrait and these will be the and this will be the src folders and this will be the html folder where the gsps will be deciding and this will be the js folder that uh, that will be included uh, through our life ray hyphen portlet xml file and this will be the css file and this is the anatomy basically so uh, these will be the tld which are by default included in every portlet uh, whatsoever we are creating so uh, this uh, these are the uh, files which are required in order to make a portlet run in life ray environment so this uh, first file is uh, life ray display dot uh, which is uh, which is basically describing uh, in which particular category the life ray is go uh, life ray portlet this particular portlet is going to be landed uh, while you are going to click on this add menu this will be the life ray plugin package uh, dot properties file uh, well basically it describes the life ray hot deployer for this plugin uh, so uh, there are a lot of bunch of uh, 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 a lot of things uh, which we can configure over here we can add some jars jars from uh, from our tomcat over here only so we need to have to uh, so copy it down from somewhere else and put it in the lip, uh, lip folder we just need to say uh, say let's say i need to add some spring files so what i need to do is i just need to select all these and just say okay so these will by default come into my environment so these will be the tlds file that you need to include uh, for example let's say uh, you want to include ctld then you just need to click over here ctld and it will be copied down so uh, this requirement deployment context it's a high level thing i'm going to tell you afterwards uh, well basically this is being used uh, for sharing the services between codex so this is life reportlet.xml file uh, this file is basically uh, made on the top of the gsr so uh, this uh, this file contains uh, most of the functionalities that are being given by uh, life ray specific only which are life ray specific so which are built on the top of the uh, gsr286 so uh, well basically we can specify over here css files we can specify js we can specify the css wrapper class over here we can specify the icon.png this icon.png is going to be the uh, the default image for portlet whenever we are going to publish this portlet so this portlet.xml contains various things uh, this is a jsr standard that uh, you must contain uh, that every portlet must contain portlet.xml file which uh, we should include what is the portlet class uh, what will be the portlet name and uh, these are basically init parameters which is view template and all of those stuff so this is expiration cache cache how out how out अपना भी बंद हो जाता है कि टीवी केबल नहीं आ रहा आधे घंटे से सो यूजिंग दिस एक्सपायरेशन कैसे वॉच वी कैन डू इज वी कैन वी कैन सेट आउट द टाइम आफ्टर हाउ मच टाइम दिस द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस uh portrait should get expired cache should, exp uh, should get expired so if we are going to set uh, minus 1 over here then then uh, this this expiration is never going to never going to get exp uh, expired so uh let's uh, let's deploy it uh, so how do we deploy this particular portlet so what we need to do is we just need to say run uh, and run as antipel and uh, it will get started deploying so uh, what is it is going to do is let me close the console so it's going to load uh, the 
independent jars uh, it's gonna build up the css uh, it gonna uh, it is gonna build up the war file and, and and then it's gonna put it up into the deploy folder so uh, this is uh, this is the jar file which has been generated over here and then it is copied into the dist folder and then it's copied into the life reportals deploy folder so uh, what life reportal uh, deploy folder is uh, being scanned by uh, our tomcat and it starts deploying as soon as uh, it's, it scans a, a war file see uh, it has been processing this sample war file and then uh, it has deployed it and when this portal it is deployed this message is uh, displayed that one portlet for sample portlet is available for you so when we are gonna refresh this page and then uh, we are gonna say add and then see in this sample category over here uh, we are able to see sample controller which is our portlet so we are just gonna say add and this is the sample controller portlet in view mode so well basically uh, this was our HTML folder and this was our, uh, was our view.gsp file so it's gonna open and see this is the sample controller portlet in view mode so uh, in uh, future in future tutorial I'm gonna tell you how we uh, how what is the life cycle of uh, of portlet how how this particular JSP is being reached out and uh, how we can start the render mode and all those modes of the of the portlet uh, what is the utilization of those why those are so important and then how we can perform a CRUD operation onto the portlet so I'm gonna take these uh, things in my future tutorial so thanks a lot for watching till now thanks a lot